Hello friends! Today's myth comes to us from the Cherokee Nation, and it is the story of how deer got his antlers. So long ago in the beginning of the world, deer had no antlers. Both the doe and the stag had smooth skulls. Deer at that time defended himself by running very quickly, but was not the only animal to do so. For Rabbit also defended himself in this manner, so much so that the two of them got along splendidly. Both Rabbit and Deer were often found racing each other around the world, playing with each other, so much so that the other creatures decided, you know, we want to know which one of you is actually faster. So they established a contest. But what good is a contest if there's not a prize? Beaver decided, you know what? I will make a beautiful rack of antlers for the winner. The day of the race, it was decided that they would race through a thicket to the far side and back again. And whichever arrived first would get to keep the antlers. But Rabbit, being concerned that he might lose, because he really wanted those antlers, because then he would have a weapon to defend himself, said, you know, this is all well and good, but I'm unfamiliar with this part of the country. I think that I should be allowed to scout the course first before we run the race. So the other animals deliberated with one another and decided, you know, that seems reasonable. So Rabbit disappeared into the thicket. He was there for a long time. So long, in fact, that the other animals grew concerned. And they sent a scout in to see what had happened to Rabbit. The scout, being fearful, moved slowly and quietly through the brush, only to hear a strange gnawing sound of teeth against wood. The scout soon found why Rabbit was taking so long. Rabbit was biting down specific stalks of the branches so that he would have a secret path and have an advantage in the race. Seeing this, the scout was no longer concerned, for there was no danger present, returned to the council and reported his findings. All of the other animals were quite upset hearing of this treachery, but waited patiently for Rabbit to return. Eventually, Rabbit did make his way out of the thicket and said, I think I have a lay of the land. I'm sure I'll, I'll do just fine in the race now. But then he noticed all the steely looks of the other animals and they said, We thought better of you, Rabbit. Here you are cheating your good friend. How dare you betray deer this way? So the other animals unanimously decided that Rabbit was disqualified, and Deer won the antlers by default. Despite this, Deer and Rabbit remained friends. To this day, it is believed that if you see a rabbit, then Deer must be nearby. I hope you enjoyed this tale, this story of how Deer got their antlers. Just a quick reminder, if you have some disposable income and have been enjoying these stories, consider leaving me a tip at the Buy Me A Coffee page. You'll find a link in the description. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.